Hello everyone. Uh -huh. It's another new day. <laughs> Say hi. Are you enjoying yourself here? Are you enjoying yourself? Anyway, so we'll be making a kume this morning. And I want you you guys to see how we do it. Would you like to eat some? And we'll eat together. Um, so to begin with our kume, we we are starting to heat some water right here. Um, we are not making a lot though. Yeah. So we we'll just go ahead and heat water because if you don't heat the water, it will not be good. You have to heat the water and oh heavenly. So to begin with our kume, we have a pot here on the fire with some water in it. Yeah, usually you heat the water because you don't want it to like coagulate so that's how you start making your akume let me not say fufu because when i say fufu, people say that it's not fufu let me say it the way they say it in togo is akume yeah so now we are going to prepare a paste for our for our akume this is how it's done Sasufi, it's a beauty. This is my job. It's a mistake, sir. For you, yeah, it was good. So you first of all make a piece like this. I've been doing this a lot on my channel, though. Welcome to my African village lifestyle. This piece is made from gari corn and. And dried cassava. This um, powder, sorry, I said this piece. Gary corn and dried cassava, and it was taken to the grinding mill, and this is what we got. Yeah. So after making this smooth piece, she's just going to pour it here in the water. But usually I make mine like lighter than this because I don't want the funny balls. But this is her trick though. You know, she'll just go ahead and like. Yeah. What do you guys think about this? Heavenly, be careful. Don't go close to the pot. Okay. So, um, we are going to stir this using a wooden stick because you don't want it forming lumps. That's why she's stirring. And you just close it there to cook the charcoal as well guys can you imagine how she handled the pot like it's burning but she handled it with like wow some people eh, their hands <laughs> i don't know my grandma used to do the same thing like you just you guys saw what she did right like handle the pot without any cloth or anything even though the pot is super super hot I can do that if I'm like in a des desperate situation, maybe the body is burning or something and yeah, but she just went ahead and you know, wow. So it's boiling already, it's boiling, it's boiling, it's boiling, it's boiling. This is my baby's favorite food. <laughs> She's just going to scoop out a little and keep it aside right there and it's time to add our powder if you eat this with okra oh my god you will love it but we are serving this with palm nut soup palm nut soup yeah so she's adding in the dry powder Usually I, I stir mine like very quickly because I don't want the lumps but these people eh? they are professionals yeah she's going to make it like she's going to make a smooth paste out of this it's quite stiff that's why she she took out some some paste if it's strong she's going to add it in Be careful, you should not stand here. She's adding in more powder though. 
Hey, Heavenly, don't touch. Heavenly is trying to play with the gunpowder. You guys can see that it's quite um, strong. She will add in more liquid. Let me give you guys a closer look. Is it a closer look or a far look? Anyways. We have different people Don't mind. Look at what this girl is doing. She's eating from the powder. somebody is it sweet I think it's sweet so she went ahead and added the rest of the liquid she had scooped out before yeah and we will go ahead and stir yeah just like that you guys can see what she's doing right there yeah this is awesome this is awesome trust me guys this is my daughter's favorite especially when it's served with okra okra or is okra i don't know <laughs> like i don't think there is a single baby in africa who doesn't like this with okra soup babies like swallow this is called this is swallow <laughs> yeah want it to be like even you know she will stir everything until it becomes like even she went ahead and added more water Demain tu vas tu vas aller à l'école à quelle heure? C'est une dame. Les gens sont beaucoup là-bas. Il y a Imolu là-bas. Mais demain tu vas donner pour toi un cadeau. Cadeau. Donc tu ne vas pas rester longtemps. Tu vas préparer quoi pour eux? Spaghetti. Spaghetti? Mm. Ici? Mm. Ha? Tu vas combien combien? So she's stirring this after she had cooked it for about 10 minutes again. Yeah. She'll just go ahead and stir like that. And now it's time to scoop everything out. So we are just going to scoop it out. She's really an expert, you guys. Can you see what she's doing? And she's just 15 years old. She's 15 though. And she works so hard. Do you 
see how it's being scooped out. It's a boko, no? That's a boko. No, it's a boko. It's a boko. It's a boko. It's a boko. No. It's a boko. It's a boko. It's a boko. Si tu veux même pour moi, il faut me dire. I don't want a lot. Um, ajoute un peu et c'est bon. Oui, c'est bon. This is, this is my portion. I just want a small portion of the food. I don't want to waste the food. And you guys, like, you know this silver, it gets hot like quickly and she's handling it like nothing is happening. Can you imagine? This girl, oh my god. Their hands, eh? See? See, for grandma, my see. So, if you want to keep it for a while, you can always put it here. And store it in a in a cooler, in a flask. Yeah, I see. So will these people do this a lot? Yeah. <laughs> So we are done. This is how Akume is made. Pardon, I mean, um, la sauce. On va voir seulement. Un second. So it's going to be served with palm nut soup. If you um, amene gombo and quelque chose. Yeah, so there is okra, there is vegetable. This is the soup we are going to use to eat our food. Yeah, so that's that's it. You guys would like to wash, it, wash us, that's it. <laughs>